So we talk about the law of attraction. We talk about who you are. We talk about calibration. We talk about step one, two, three. Step one is life comes to you. Some of you say at me, life's coming at me. Life is happening. You're aware of it. You're evaluating it. Even when you're not really knowing that you are. And when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And when that upheaval from the contrast causes you to know what you do want, you emanate a rocket of desire. It's not really a rocket, but you emanate it and it's like a rocket. It emanates from you. And you know what happens next? If it emanates from you and the larger part of you receives it as valid life sourcing, life sorting information from you, that this is something that you prefer. And immediately step two happens. Your inner being focuses upon your desire and holds steady on it. And then an incredible, wonderful, life-giving evolutionary thing begins right away because your inner being who is huge in relationship to the content of vibration that is you because your inner being never pushes against anything. So the calibration of your inner being is so significantly tied to that, which is source energy tied to that, which is the energy that creates worlds that huge focuses upon this desire that you just launched and cooperative components begin coming to it by virtue of the power of the law of attraction and the focus of your inner being who is holding to what you said you wanted because life told you you wanted it when you're rude you want to be nice and when you're mad you want to be calm and when you're afraid you want to be stable and when you're confused you want clarity and when you are hating something you want to be loving something life just insists on this clarification happening within you all day every day and so who you are is very well known by the source within you and focused upon that and so that's why when you deviate from who you are you don't feel that good and that's why then bless your hearts we love you so much you try to find somebody to agree with you you try to find something but it's never enough is it it's never enough you just cannot feel the void that you have caused by disallowing the fullness of your calibration to source energy you can't fill it with humans not even if you got all of them to come with you you can't feel it with anything other than focused alignment and then step three step three is now this powerful law of attraction and the focus of your inner being has gathered the cooperative components and step two has been accomplished when you ask it is given someone should write that book when you ask it is given and now step three is you care about how you feel you care about tending to your point of attraction you care about how you feel you care about how you feel you care about how you feel and so you deliberately choose what feels good and if something comes to you that doesn't you go whoa 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 I get why you came I take full credit and responsibility for your being here with me but now I've evaluated you I'm gonna look elsewhere for something that is a deliberate match to what I want because I want to be a deliberate creator not a creator that is a regurgitator not a creator that is an observer not a creator that is creating by default I want to create on purpose I want to calibrate on purpose because I want in every moment that I'm standing in my physical body expressing to whoever I'm expressing to I want the whole of me to be expressing the whole of me the whole of me the reason I came for the love of life for the expansion of life for the evolution of life yeah so we want to talk to you about whatever you want to talk about there is nothing off limits that's scary <laughs> there's nothing off limits you'll notice a wonderful unfolding as we move along here take it easy if you're not immediately called on trust that it's going to happen anyway because who you are and what you want is known your vortices are understood by us completely understood by us and together we are going to find the path of least resistance to help you solve whatever it is soothing is solving yeah all right well you're ready
Okay, Abraham, I have plenty to ask, but let me just narrow it down for you. Um, two things. There's, for in my world, there's so much energy, and it's moving so fast, and it's so exciting. I believe that we're moving from three dimensions to fifth dimension. For me, that's just movement forward. We believe that you're moving from energy to see it here, it's milk, taste it, touch it, and you can call it whatever you want. Okay. I thought you would say it like that. But so, so uh, two things I want to ask about. It's moving so fast, and it's fun. It's always fun. But um, with that, sometimes it's, I feel myself getting higher and higher. I can, I can truly, viscerally feel. When you're calibrated to your inner being, it will never be faster than you can contemplate or endure or enjoy. So if it feels too fast, you're not up to speed. Okay. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm running. I'm running as fast as I can. Well, so. you know how you're in an airplane and you're high in the sky. It's 30 or 40,000 feet up there and it's going 500 miles an hour. And you look out the window and it's just fine. But you put that airplane on the ground at that speed, it wouldn't feel fine. And so if you're running, you could do more calibrating because ease and flow is what you're looking for the whole point that you're making here is that things are moving fast and we have to try harder and it's the opposite point that we've been making all day long here got it got it yeah i got it yeah you did <laughs> so but along with that something that i really want to talk ask you specifically yeah. about is with this i've really felt it's what with um with my feeling my frequency getting higher and getting more cal with there being more momentum in other words there are more things on the verge of manifestation yes yes and that's really an exciting time as things are about to burst into see it here it smell it taste it touch it so what's the question um it's about my body and about eating about um um is there anything th let me ask, let me see how to ask specifically. There are all kinds of things and it's not one pattern and it's unique for each of you because of your desires and your beliefs. Okay, so thank you. So when you're tuned in, don't read a book and try to follow the book. Okay, because yeah, there's so much, so much that I'm attracting as far as ways to eat and feel lighter and brighter and I'm, I'm constantly inspired everything but... that we're talking about here today is about that in other words as you feel for something and it fits then it's good got it right yes I, I, I feel like I'm not confused but then I am confused as I'm well, sitting here well it's a confusing so... topic okay did we add confusion to the topic um a little bit did you want us to say eat that and don't eat that and eat that and don't eat that no. what answer were you looking for um oh, wow that's a great question yeah <laughs> because we answered the question that you were asking you did it's not about what you do it's the feeling place from which you do it here it is so if we are talking about tending to your point of attraction we want to say to you don't try to create the match find what matches so don't try to create the perfect diet find what feels good to eat in other words giving you what you're wanting from it eat for fuel and for satisfaction feel your way to it I will okay your bodies are really interesting because they are evolving and made up of trillions of cells and the cells would make very good attendees in a gathering like this because they're tuned into source energy and they understand everything that's going on here they know about vibration they know about balance and they know about being cooperative components and they're just wired that way and they have personal relationships with source energy and very personal relationships with your inner being who knows not only how your body's doing in terms of how it feels vitality and how it pleases in terms of all of the things that you get to ask about and so your inner being understands all of that and the cells of your body are easily in sync with the messages that your inner being is sending and so the cells of your body are being called as cooperative components and that translates to you into impulses but do you know that most humans ignore the impulses because they've got some other thing in their mind that they should or shouldn't be doing and your bodies are evolving ebbing and flowing sometimes a different food is required for what the intention is right now you see and so 
Ooh, there isn't anything more delicious than to get out of the way of your knowledgeable cells and let the cells of your body talk directly to your inner being because your inner being knows everything about all of that which means feel as good as you can feel which means if you're trying to be the law of attraction and try to figure out what you should and shouldn't eat or if you're unhappy with the way you look or when you get on the scales you're unhappy or 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 this is the best topic that we can think of to apply what we've been talking about all day here today it's so easy to find something about that subject that makes you feel uncomfortable and then all of the gyrations you go through in order to try to make that fit where if you would get off that subject and get on a subject of happiness how often do you know somebody who fell in love and then all of that just took care of itself yeah. sort of effortless because they got off that topic and on one that fed them vibrationally and then the inspiration that was just right there's not a right way about anything but there is an inspired way that your inner being knows and will show you Okay. Yeah. Okay. I do. I do feel the inspiration, but thank you. I needed that yeah. reminder of, of that and my cells are just fine and everything's just fine. And then, um, one other thing, can I ask you, you said this and I'm sorry, I moved too fast. So let me slow down for a minute and ask as far as feeling like, like energy is moving faster. And in some ways it's so exciting to me, but I need faster to remind than what energy is not moving too fast. It's moving in perfect response to asking. So the best statement is energy is moving exactly right. And I mean to sink into it. We want to very softly say to you that what it seems like you're saying is the energy is moving so fast and we have to get ready for it. And we say it's moving as fast as you have asked for it. That would be like saying, I've asked for so many things and now what do I do? And we say, let them in. Uh, okay. I can, I can the do that. strongest thing that we want you to hear because it's the thing that's a little out of balance ever so slightly with you is that don't try to control the speed of the energy we don't think you're trying that but in your several remarks about the same thing here about how fast it's moving there is a lack based vibration in that question like we need to step up or are we ready to step up and we say the energy is not moving faster than you've asked for and therefore it's not moving faster than you can handle here's the statement that says it all if this time space reality can inspire a desire within you this time space reality can deliver the goods nothing's weird nothing's weird it's all just right on schedule just the way you've been asking for it to be I do I do get that and I believe it you know you said the operative word balance if you spend more than you make you're out of balance if you breathe in more air than you are utilizing or expelling then you're out of balance if you ask for more than you believe you get out of balance it's about in and out in and out isn't it it's about asking and allowing. it's about step one step two step three step one step two step three step one step two step three everything is perfect everything is just as you have all asked it to be we're going to emphasize that your life has caused you to build a vortex that will serve in magnificent way generations to come we don't think it should be only the generations to come that should be ready for it you can be up to speed with what you've set into motion with great ease now that you understand that it's just a matter of feeling your way into it okay yeah? yes and I think I'm just so excited yeah. <laughs> all the time. Yeah. So good thing. Thank you. It's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. Third row right here. Yeah. Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.